So, today's video, we're going to fit a new wiring loom to a little Chinese quad. Of course, it's going to be a Chinese wiring loom. And as usual with anything that comes out of China, there's absolutely no instructions. So, here's a little culprit we're going to be working on. It's a little Eton Viper 90cc two-stroke. It's got no spark and we've diagnosed it that somewhere there's a fault in the loom. And rather than go and spend a day messing with the loom, it's just as easy to buy a new lump of wires out of China. And uh, yeah, try and put it in. So the one that I have done already in advance of today is I have figured out what wires go where. Given each wire a number corresponding to the colour of the wire. I've then gone to the quad. The only part of the original quad that we're going to use is the rectif or the stator coming out of the engine. So there's your four wires coming out of the stator, corresponding number and the exact item that they go to. So without further ado, let's get started. Get our loom together, start slotting everything in where it goes, so key switch in here. Key switch in. Screwdriver for this part. Pedal sticks I found a problem. So as smart as I was, noting down all my wire locations, uh, coming out of it, I realised that I didn't note down the corresponding one on the new limb. So I'm going to have to refer back to my photos on my phone and come back momentarily. And we're back. So turns out I had the wires right the whole way along and forgetfulness is a terrible thing when you leave a project sitting for months. So, back to the wire and we go. So this is what we've got so far, we've got our CDA hooked up, our rectifier is bolted in place, main part of the loom is all there, our two wires that go to our stator for the spark are there and there, the rest of these wires come off the stator for the rectifier, we'll figure those out later. Switch is hooked up and mounted, coil pack is hooked up and mounted. All the rest of the wiring is connected, so what we have to do now is mount the start solenoid and botch the wiring from the original starter motor, which is here somewhere, it's in there somewhere, onto the new solenoid. Put on some of the rear plastics because they've got a battery in them and we'll take it from there again.
So, we're going to cut off this old connection. Crimp on a couple of new ones. You don't want to remove the heat shield, so I'll just slide this back into place. That's everything hooked up in theory. If we connect these two to neutral, this one to live, we should hopefully turn the engine over. If it turns over, we'll jab a little bit of easy start into the carburetor here. And if that decides it wants to fire up, we'll start putting the rest of the quad together. Before we do all that, we need a battery, and here's one I prepared earlier. We'll try the small set of jump leads first. It turns over. Let's try a little bit of easy start.
Now it's really important when you're using these, you start to only use the slightest little bit. I have seen an entire Land Rover engine destroyed because someone put half a can of Easy Start into it. So literally just a small burst, throttle open full to let it in. Two gentle squirts. Turn on our start and see if anything happens. Apparently nothing's happened. fault find. Everything's connected here, everything's connected here. We have an earth going to the starter. We may not have an earth going to the spark plug or the spark plug may not be on properly. We have some sort of light. Let's try that again. Throttle open, tiny little job of easy start. Okay, it's firing up. We know now that we have a spark, we've got light in the system, we can start, we can tidy up whatever's left, put all the plastics back on, and then figure out our rectifier wire until we get the battery charging.